with most people, I feel like it will. It would, you know, um, affect them a lot. But with me, I don't know. With my stepdaddy, he just I didn't I didn't connect with him on different levels. So I, some my younger siblings, some of them, you know, like him because he was a he was their shit right after my dad he passed actually. So was he in here there there or he? You know what I mean? Your mother didn't have any kids by him. No, she okay. did not. How old was you when your mother passed? I don't know. That was what 2010 or 2011. Oh, okay, so, so it's pretty recent. Yeah, not. But yeah, so shoot, I just I'm, See, I'm blessed. I'm gonna say sorry still, about that, I but she already hit me with life happens, so I'm like, she ain't tripping. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I, I love that. I feel like we all gotta go, and some people are blessed to live a little longer. Some people, you know, shit, they die at a young age. So I'm blessed to have them uh, as much as I did, and I feel like um, I got good memories that I'm always. My mom was crazy as fuck, and I feel like I'm turning into her. And I just love um, the moments that I have with her. So I'm going to just take that with me, and I'm not going to, you know, be um, sad about Do it. Do you be sitting around and, like, something just reminds you of it and make you Hell sad? Hell yeah, I'll be sitting there. I'll start crying. Like, yeah. That's Shit. how it is. It is just having like a clear mood on it. Yeah, I don't know. I can be happy. And it. Uh, I feel like when you lose a loved one, it's ne- it never gets better. Like, you just learn how to accept it a little better. But it never, you know. Like, I don't even know about the acceptance part because, like, it's like I said, it's been over two years, man. That shit be, it don't feel as fresh. But do you still ever get that feeling like it's unbelievable? You know what? Yeah, because I, since I moved away a lot, like, I moved, I got married and moved out when I was 19 years old. And I was gone for years without seeing my mama. <coughs> so sometimes I feel like, I'm just out of town, and she's just somewhere else. Correct. Like, it don't feel like that she's gone. Sometimes I'm like, I just haven't talked to her in a while. And you know Until what? Until reality hit me. I remember when my brother passed, uh, my little brother, Maurice, he said that, because my brother had moved to Kentucky, and he was like, I just tell my uh, tell myself. Or matter of fact, his daughter said it. Maurice, shout out to Favo. She said that she's going to look at it like he's still in Kentucky. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you can you can... Like, psych yourself out of some, a lot of shit. But it's just some, some shit you can't. You know what I'm saying? And that's just... Yeah, how Like you said, when that, when, that moment, when that moment come, and he's like, damn, like, in my situation, anything basketball related, NBA draft, yeah. contract signings, and shit like that, it's like, damn, I got a nine Mom. to five. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I go to work in the morning, I got a nine to five. Fuck, I should be cutting grass. <laughs> and it's crazy, because me and my brother used to do a little... Show called Boy Running My Trap. Shout out. I've been giving shout outs all motherfucking day. Shout out to Boy Running My Trap. That's how I got started with this kind of shit. We used to do a little video, uh, you call it a show or a video blog, or whatever. But we used to have so much fun on there, and the ignorance was at an all time high to where he was so fucking silly and he'd say anything. But he wasn't, he wasn't stupid, and he, and he was really compassionate. You know what I'm saying? So, Anytime something popping out, like I'll see some shit and it'd be funny as fuck to me. Like I, I just had a job where I was sitting next to a motherfucker and I knew he was telling me some fantastic, stupid shit that he was lying. And in my head, I looked over and I saw my brother. Like I looked over and in my head, I heard him say, "Do you believe that bullshit?" And like hell no, like, nobody believe that bullshit because that's how we talk back and forth. Because that's how he always do. Like if both be like, "Yeah, I had the audition today." My brother lean on with me. That nigga fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And I just all it be uh, key situations like that just remind me. And I'm gonna tell you, man. Sometimes I don't be want no reminders. Like, and they come at the inconvenient time. Like I could be laying down like three o'clock in the morning, mm-hmm. and I just think about it. And I'm like, I can't believe this nigga really fucking gone. Yeah, I feel like yeah, I lost my parents, but losing my siblings, I don't know if I can take that. Like, you giving out shout outs? Shout out to my brother Tony Gatsby. I love you. Um, he like my twin. He not my what up, twin. Tony? Share this app with your <laughs> friends. Go to your sister page and share this with your friends. <laughs> and don't take no drinks from strippers in the club. Cause they gonna try to root for you. He, he for might. You. And don't send your sister naked pictures of the chicks if you fucking. He crazy. might. <laughs> nah. But like me and him is real close. Like we t- we be in a club and tell each other. We kind of look like we be like we twins. And people believe us and like. shit. But, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like if I lost one of my siblings, it's, it's Ten of us, but eight of us got the same mama and daddy. If I lost one of them, 
I don't know. I think I take it harder than my parents. Like, I don't know. And it's crazy. I can't imagine it. It's crazy because my, my twin passed away at 14. Then just last year, I lost another brother and sister. Mm. And we all same mama, same daddy type mm. shit. And they, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's weird. It all seemed unbelievable. But, you know, you said it and, it and it sound fucked up, but we got a time. And that's how I believe it's, it's important to fucking, like, do what the fuck you supposed to do exactly. and, and hope that you can leave some sort of legacy. And I'm glad you said because I'm going to ask you do you ever feel wish that Sean would have had uh, kids? I had wish one. that. I had wish Cause that. Because I, I be, I be sitting Because I think you would have softened the fucking blow. Like I felt like you got something to I'd have been able to like something directly hear right. off of him that I could have like, like I don't have like regrets that of the shit that didn't happen. Like, the things I regret is shit like him not moving back. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I can influence him moving back. And so, like that, and that's nothing I can do, you know what I'm saying? But if he had a son, then I could have made sure that I spent a lot more time with him. Because even we grown men, grown girls, say, hey, man, I still feel like it was more time than we could have spent. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, compassionate. He was way more compassionate than me to where he would say he loved me and shit more than I said it to him. So it, it's shit like that, like, like I don't know. Like one thing I wish I could do is like have a conversation, like whatever going on now, wherever it is. I'd be like, if I had a chance to win like a billion dollar Powerball ticket, I'd take the conversation over that shit. Do you ever sit back and think if he was here, like, would you be doing? Like, I wouldn't this show. I always think about that shit. If he was here, I wouldn't be on this show. What well, do you think? You think I like, never did stand up comedy. I never did none of that stuff. Stand up, you don't think would? I know I wouldn't. Cause he did. Yes, and I and why reason why I wouldn't do it? I'm gonna tell you like we just had discussions, and I used to tell him because I'm a better prepared than him. I think more deep than him. Uh-huh. So I used, we used to always talk about it where I'd be like his co-writer. And he'd be the performer. Gotcha. Like, I prefer a background. Like, I know, like, who I am and shit. I know my level of talent. And I like I like the accolades sometimes. Somebody tell me, you smart, you funny, all that. It feel good, but I'm okay with playing the background as long as the team win. And so I, I was cool with that. And I know, like, it's something like he, he probably was, like, one of the people most proud of me on earth. Like, he seemed like a superhero. Like, ain't talking something. He asked me shit like, like we wasn't the same, like we wasn't twins. Like, he had asked me if somebody say something, he'd come and ask me. Or if anything physical, he'd be like, well, come and get me type shit, right? So, I know he viewed me in a high, a high, like a high esteem. And I hate to say it, but he viewed me in a higher regard than I view him. Like, he loved better than I love. Like, I'm, I'm a, people call me mean and shit, and he nothing like that. <clears throat> but, like, I show my love to him in different ways. But um, I remember I seen him do his first stand-up shit at Morty's. And in my head, I said, no, I, well, he did crack but at Morty's when I thought about it. Okay. I was like, damn, I could do that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I was like, because it, it's just, you know, you know how we sit there and shit look easy as fuck. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I can do that shit. And then I was like, man, but I don't want to do it now because that's his lane. And I wouldn't want to get up there and end up doing better than him. And that's like I used to think because I wasn't mature enough to think how we can tag teams and shit. And I do got one regret that I didn't push him more to do it. Like he would bring it up and then we'd talk about it. But I felt like I could have been more of a catalyst to lead him to do it and and, and chase that dream. And like that's what I say, man. I don't be bullshitting when I say everything I do. I do it because of him and for him because it's my way of I look at this like it's his baby. Like, this is a child he didn't have. So now I can try to nurture this and then try to push it to a place where he, his shit should have been. And, like, this is what I don't understand about life and death. I understand life and death is all, um, it's part of life. I said life and death part of life. Death is a part of life. And, and that's all. Like, people don't be wanting to talk that shit, man, but I, I'm a firm believer in, in God. And and I say that when when, she, when Sean passed, it fucked with me. Like I always say, it fucked with, it fucked with me bad, man. Like a sickness I never felt like a physical sickness. It made my stomach hurt. So 
being out, like, I ain't never felt that fucking level of sad, no emotion, joy, sadness. This was the epitome of feelings. And it, it just so happened that it was sad. But it didn't make me, like, lose faith in God. It just made me, like, want to know more. And so then I started looking, man. I, and this is what I tell people all the time, man. Like, we always blame God for shit. Or people say, well, if God was this, this wouldn't happen. But if you sit back and think of it, man, damn near 100% of everything bad happened on earth is man-related. Like, when they say he put cancer here, cancer's in the foods we eat. They put all these sweeteners and artificial, all this bullshit in the food. That shit come from what we eat. If you just take care of your body, like we pre this disposition for some reason, the black people had these heart diseases. And, and, and but you got to take in account of the food we eat. If you just sit here and read the label, like I just drank that fucking Mountain Dew. Now I keep saying I'm down drinking pop, but I'm, I'm trying to fucking I can't Ray Charles it. I can't just lay down and go cold turkey. I got to wean myself off. You look at the shit that's in the ingredients on the pop, you're like, what the fuck is this? You can't go into the grocery store and be like, hey, I'm going to go get all this shit and make a pop. <laughs> then you got to go to a fucking science lab. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We not meant to drink this shit. It fucking hurts your throat if you drink it too fast. That shit ain't fucking natural. Right. So it's the shit they put preservatives in food and it's created to make us sick and dependent upon the medical industry. It's all pharma, it's all money related for the pharmacies and shit like that, the pharmaceutical industry. We eat bullshit. We just ate them fucking donuts. That ain't healthy. And I had two of them. You got more. <laughs> uh, I ain't scared of dog. I ain't either. Okay. But but the fact of the matter is between that kind of shit and then just weapons, God didn't create guns. It's like he put all this stuff on earth and then we may do what we do what with it that we will. Right. And we had that free will to decide. But every time something go negative, we blame God. Right. Sean had some kind of uh they said it was like heart disease related. He seemingly in good shape, but he drink, he smoke, he don't fucking exercise. They said somebody's high blood pressure. He ain't fucking pay attention. So I can't blame God for that. You know what I'm saying? Like as much as I'm like, damn God, not even not a warning. Like, and he had warnings. So like, how can I be mad at God? Even no matter how much it hurt, can I really be mad at God? And the thing with that is the silver lining around our clouds is the fact that this is some temporary shit. These are temporary shells. These, we ain't meant to be here forever. It's the after this shit that that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? So me being firm in my beliefs is that he waiting on me. So that's like when I'm when I'm when I'm laying around at three four o'clock in the morning, sad as shit, crying, thinking about shit. Uh, I can't believe it. Wishing for shit that ain't gonna happen. Let me just talk to him one time. And I said that I had a dream about my brother, and I feel like it was. I about to say, have you ever talked to him? You like, I like, talked to him in a dream. But you I never. No, nah, but I had a dream to where I'm no dream interpreter. I won't put that on my resume. But in the dream, like I saw my brother, and in like in my mind, God said, "I'm showing you he okay." And this is what I see in my dream. So. When you got to God for shit, man, like, I had a friend ask me earlier this week, do I think prayer works? I said, I think prayer is influential. I believe God can be influenced by your prayers, but if it's some shit that ain't supposed to happen, it ain't going to happen. Because, like, God give you, God gave us the abilities to make shit happen on our own. And I was going to ask you, can I chime in? I, I believe, I'm going to say prayer works, but it don't work like people think. Like, if, think it, like if you say, God, I want a million dollars, it's not going to boom, wake up, you well, got I'm a million dollars in your truck. Million. It don't crash. work like that. It, <laughs> I say, it say stuff like, because I used to, I play, uh, I used to pray and ask God to give me uh, strength and patience. And what he did, he put me in situations where I had to show strength and patience. That's how he worked in my eyes. I, yeah, but uh, I want to ask you with the shy thing. Do you ever feel like, um, okay, as you you get older, you're gonna change. You gonna you gonna get older. Say you live to be 90, <coughs> you live to be ninety. Till you get to the point where I will kill myself before I live to be ninety. <laughs> well, well, I know if you if your ninety first birthday coming up, what well, time? Let me get the time. At five fifty three today, if your ninety first birthday come, I'll go ahead and take you out. I hope I'm strong enough to praise the gun. <laughs> yeah, uh, what you but, doing? Well, I'm gonna kill myself when my shoulder hurt. Do you ever feel like you get to heaven and he won't recognize you? Mm-mm. I don't feel like that. And this is what people people think you get to heaven is to get a brand new brain or something. But if you get to heaven, you are gonna have all these memories and stuff because what else would you be thankful for? 
So you got to remember the, You know what I'm saying You have to have No I mean, I mean You you will remember But he won't like Like he His his He, he died at what 13 14 